Hello everyone, it's Petko Alexandrov and I continue on the 23rd of August 2020 after I had another counter trend line breaking and I will show you where is that. So this was my last entry where I have bought some chain link. This was the aggressive counter trend line. A failure of the recent law I have entered here bought 600 euro of chain link as I've said because I'm increasing the entry since the account is bigger now so what happened then the price went a little bit upward sideways and then went lower reaching 11,370 and then it went a little bit higher and then I had the chance to draw a counter trend line after this high was formed and now it is breaking this counter trend line now initially the counter trend line was here but at that moment I didn't have a failure of the recent low so I didn't enter anywhere at here it was exactly like that and you see I had a break but no failure of the low so after that I have moved it and uh, today I had this failure that I want to see and to break it was quite an impulsive break, but you can see what happened with this candle. It pulled back, didn't close above the counter trend line, which is a thing I want to see. But still, it's going upwards. We'll see where it goes. But I have bought another piece of chain link. And the chain link is a little bit cheaper since I bought it uh, the other day. And if I go to weekly, you will see what I have on the chain link. I have this drop at the price recovered a little bit on a monthly chart. If it breaks this top, then I will have again the smaller uptrend. So it's like another failure of this low that we see here. And uh, this is where I bought the first time, right? So it's on a cheaper price, which gives me a better average price. However, as I've mentioned a few times during the course, I don't really do analysis on Coinbase chart or on any of the cryptos that I buy. I do the analysis on the Bitcoin and I just look at monthly chart or weekly to see series of high highs and high lows. So usually I prefer to buy cryptocurrencies that are in an uptrend on the monthly chart on Coinbase, okay? And for the moment, if I go quickly through the others, for example, Tezos is uh, not really in an uptrend, it's actually going down. It's a series of lower highs and lower lows. And if I go to Stellar, for example, and I go to the monthly, you will see again series of lower highs and lower lows. So the market is a bit negative at the moment, but Chainlink is the one that is just sideways. We cannot say really, is it in downtrend? Is it an uptrend? This was an uptrend, then this was decline. And then we'll see what happens now. If the price reaches this top, it will form a small uptrend. If it reaches this low and makes a lower low right here, it will be a downtrend. So we'll see, but I stick to the strategy. Whenever I have a break of the counter trend line, I am entering on the market and this is what I have at the current moment so I decided to share it with you again guys and if you have any questions drop them in the comments below and if you found that video useful don't forget to like it and hit the subscribe button and the bell icon to get notified whenever we upload new content. Cheers!